Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will show you how to specify um, reactions required for the simulation of water electrolysis, right? So I will show you how to specify your simulation basis for water electrolysis in Aspenices, right? So the first thing you want to do is to add your components to the component list. So in this case, we'll be making use of the Aspen properties, right? We'll make use of the Aspen properties. Now for water electrolysis, we need hydrogen, yes, then oxygen, then water itself, right? Then for the case of um, alkaline electrolysis, you will need an alkali, right? So this this particular tutorial will be based on the alkali, alkaline uh, water electrolysis, right? So we'll be using KOH in this case, right? So we add KOH, right? So we have specified our components. Now for fluid package, property package, we are still going to be making use of Aspen properties since that is what we use to specify the components. Now in property package, what is used for electrolysis is the electrolyte NRTL, right? So you go to the property package filter and you select all. Then you now search for electrolyte NRTL. Uh, that is what is usually used for yes for water electrolysis right so this is it so we have specified our components and then our fluid package so after that we are to specify the reactions associated with the process which is electrolysis in this case the electrolysis of water so the first reaction we will specify is the um, reaction the regular reaction which will be a conversion reaction right so you click on add then you click on add reaction right in this case we'll be using conversion so that we can specify the conversion of water into hydrogen right hydrogen and then um, oxygen so you click on conversion okay before you do that you change your reactant source to aspen properties because that was where you chose the components from then conversion is highlighted then you click add reaction then you go back to specify the conversion reaction so you click on it then you specify the components and the stoichiometry in this case, you have water to give you hydrogen and oxygen, right? So then you specify the stoichiometry. Stoichiometry will be minus one. Then hydrogen is one. Then this guy is 0.5 right yes so this is balanced then the um yeah then the uh base component is water reaction phase is yeah we can leave it as overall then we are specifying the conversion so let's assume a conversion of 60 percent right so by the time you specify your conversion the um reaction should solve right then you can attach to fp so you attach to fp then you get your your conversion reaction ready right now this reaction that is specified will be required in the electrolyzer right it will be required in the electrolyzer to um, specify how how much hydrogen and oxygen is formed from the dissociation of water. That is why this particular reaction is necessary. Now, to specify the dissociation of water into the um, ions, the respective ions, which is 
H plus and OH minus, right? We need to go back to our fluid package, which is electrolyte NRTL. Now, when you select electrolyte NRTL, you have this um, section here called the electrolyte wizard, right? So you click on it and here you get the opportunity to specify the dissociation, right? In proper terms. So you would make all your settings for the dissociation reactions here. So in this case, um, let's see, I will change this to H plus hydrogen ion type H plus then for reactions i would uncheck this and then i will check water dissociation right i'll check water dissociation then for this i would select only koh right now in this in this um, section where we have our components it is koh and h2o that are going to dissociate into different ions right Hydrogen and oxygen are not part of the dissociation, right? So by the time you select KOH, H2O dissociation occurs automatically because you have already ticked water dissociation here, right? It says include reactions of water dissociation has been ticked. So you don't need to select water from here anymore. You select, you select only KOH, which is the alkali. Then once you are done with that, you click on get reactions right so once you click on get reactions you have the dissociation reaction of um your um water and then your koh then you can now click select all right you click on select all then you click okay now once you click okay you can go back to the reaction section right so once you get back to the reaction section, you will see that a new set has been added. A new set that we did not create initially has been added. That set is for the dissociation that was specified in the electrolyte wizard, right? So our set one is the conversion reaction, which we specified, right? But the set two is for the dissociation of water. So if you click on it, you would see it here. You have the you have the equilibrium reaction, which of which water um, is converted to OH minus and H plus, and then you have the dissociation of um, of KOH, which is the electrolyte for the alkaline electrolysis. So both of them are automatically specified from the electrolyte wizard, right? And that is the reason why you need to use the electrolyte NRTL right now when you go to the simulation environment just a quick one when you go to the um, simulation environment we have this let's specify this is just an illustration right the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to specify the electrolysis or the electro the dissociation reactions in the simulation basis manager which has already been done but a quick illustration now now when you specify this stream for example right let's make some quick assumptions let's say water is at 25 degrees celsius and 180 um let me see then molar flow just right then the composition of water is one now yeah more fraction so this stream is fully specified now what i wanted to show you here is that when you specify the electrolysis in the simulation basis manager you can get the uh, properties of the electrolytes from the electrolyte section in this um, in this uh, this worksheet environment right so this is the electrolyte section once you click on it you can see the properties of the electrolytes the ph the osmotic pressure the ionic strength the heat capacity and the viscosity right so all these are calculated 
by high seas based on the specifications that were made in the simulation basis manager right but in a normal stream right in a normal stream in a simulation that does not contain the electrolysis or the dissociation all these parameters or most of these parameters will be empty right also from this electrolyte section you can also check the composition right of the substances in that stream both the normal components and the ionic components right you may not be able to see it from the composition the composition will only give you the composition of the components the real components right but if you want to see the ionic components as well you have to check that through the electrolyte section so you have all of them all the components both the ions and the normal components as well in this electrolyte composition section right you can check their molar flow molarity and molarity right so this is where you can actually see such information from here i opened a random um, stream from another simulation right and from here in the worksheet you cannot see the electrolyte section right so I guess the electrolyte section comes up when you make use of the electrolyte NRTL package, right? So this is a, a stream from another simulation where the um, electrolysis was not specified and you don't have the electrolyte section there, right? So, but in the illustration I was making, um, let me see, yes. Okay, so this is the one I just... Uh, modeled now the stream i modeled now you have the electrolyte section and you have the properties of the electrolyte there right the ph osmotic pressure ionic strength heat capacity viscosity all these are calculated based on the um specifications made in the simulation basis manager like i made earlier like i stated earlier right so the electrolysis of water can be simulated using aspenisis and i just wanted to make that known to you all right so with this we have come to the end of this particular lecture right if you have questions on water electrolysis right you can drop your questions in the comment section like this video share with others then uh subscribe to this channel for more tutorials on process simulation right thank you once again for joining me do have a good day